Microsoft buys the Activision Blizzard for a whopping $68.7 billion. That is huge, and some may wonder why. With 3 billion people actively playing games today, and with a new generation that enjoys interactive entertainment, gaming is now the largest and fastest growing form of entertainment. This acquisition will accelerate the growth of the Microsoft gaming business across mobile, PC, console, and cloud, and will provide building blocks for the metaverse. When completed, it will give Microsoft control of some of the biggest game series in the world, including Call of Duty, Warcraft, Overwatch, and Candy Crush. In conjunction with Microsoft purchase of Bethesda's Softworks just over a year ago, though that was for a small fraction of the Activision Blizzard price tag, it will make Microsoft the third largest game company in the world by revenue. Some may think that this is just about Microsoft positioning itself for games, but really, it, it, it goes beyond gaming. It's actually positioning itself for the metaverse uh, as the technology giants want it to be a place where people can play, work, interact, and all of that. That's what Microsoft is trying to do at the end of the day. So in this video, we'll go into some details of this decision and present a viewpoint of what Microsoft is trying to do and how that will uh, affect the future of the tech giant and the world of gaming and the metaverse. Let's, let's go. Microsoft makes the leading Xbox console, has 25 million subscribers on Game Pass, would own 30 studios if the deal closes, and has one of the biggest cloud platforms in the world. The combination makes for a powerful force with flexibility to dominate any market. So Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard would bring game-making savvy for building virtual worlds capable of evolving into the metaverse that tech companies see as tomorrow's internet for work, play, and commerce. Activision Blizzard's experience could help Microsoft build the metaverse as an interconnected, persistent virtual world with his economy. People would interact in that world using three-dimensional avatars and a massive technology like virtual reality or AR. However, the metaverse is still years from becoming a reality. Microsoft's 68.7 billion acquisition provides the company with a long-time developer of virtual worlds for gamers. Activision Blizzard's role-playing game World of Warcraft has given the game maker key insight into engaging people and monetizing in a virtual world. Microsoft has solved via acquisition the hardest problem of the metaverse getting people to actually spend time inside this virtual world. The amount of expertise gained from absorbing minds who created and maintained World of Warcraft still had almost 5 billion users after two decades is an epic win for Microsoft. 
the big tech companies have touted the metaverse ability to reshape the internet, including the way people collaborate at work. Uh, so, Facebook had rebranded itself as Meta to reflect its commitment to the metaverse. And it has also released an open beta VR based workplace collaboration product called Horizon Workrooms. Microsoft intends to integrate Teams with its VR and AR platform Mesh, bringing virtual meeting spaces and cartoon-like avatars to video meetings. This is huge. The efforts represent a push to collaborate in virtual places, an early step toward moving work to the metaverse. So Facebook or Meta, Verizon, and Microsoft among those firms jostling for a piece of the metaverse economy that Constellation Research estimates could hit $21.7 trillion by 2030. That's, that's, that's really big. So Constellation expects game companies like Sony, Epic Games, Valve, and Tencent to be instrumental in building that economy by creating virtual worlds and experiences or developing the AR and VR hardware that allows people to access metaverse. So Microsoft CEO Nadella acknowledged that game makers would be an essential part of the metaverse development in his remark about the acquisition. He said, Gaming is the most dynamic and exciting category in entertainment across all platforms today and will play a key role in the development of metaverse platform. That's what he said in a statement. So game developers can help tech companies meet some of the challenges of creating the metaverse. Because they've been working on these problems for many years. For example, Movement in VR can cause motion sickness in some people. So VR game makers mitigated the problem by introducing teleportation to different environments. So over long distances, just like in the real world, so people just teleport from one location to another. So tech companies could use that mechanism in the metaverse to let workers move across a virtual conference hall without feeling sick, you know. You don't have to actually uh, be moving across such long distances. So you're, you're like in one conference hall and you need to get to the other one maybe 20 meters away or uh, uh, 20 meters away or even a thousand meters. You just teleport and you just kind of magically appear in the other hall or, or workspace. The mesh stroke teams integration will, uh, will make for a very good um, uh, product that will make collaboration uh, really easy. So games have always been on the forefront of introducing mechanism to interact with the digital world. And gaming is a very viable test bed that allows people to explore uh, the limits of what is possible. Uh, so Microsoft um, uh, seemed to be really heading in the right direction uh, in terms of uh, its gaming business and in terms of uh, uh, really working out to see the metaverse, uh, how uh, it will play out. Activision Blizzard has experience in monetizing its virtual worlds. Players in World of Warcraft buy in game items by pets and modes with real money. Activision Blizzard's history with these transactions and knowledge of what pitfalls should, to avoid should be helpful to Microsoft 
at a time when companies are still trying to figure out how to charge for the metaverse by incorporating Activision Blizzard's knowledge, Microsoft can avoid reinventing the wheel as it builds the metaverse. Activision Blizzard itself has recognized the value of its expertise. In a December essay for marketing publication, the drum company executive wrote that metaverse-focused tech firm will be wise to pay attention to gaming. Those with serious aspirations to understand or build the metaverse in 2022 have the opportunity to start their journey in a multiple metaverses that currently exist in the gaming ecosystem. Less, otherwise, they want to merely tread the virtual footsteps of the gamers that came before them. So, Microsoft has made a good decision. It's going to be till about July 2023 before this deal is closed. How much is Microsoft spending on this? $68.7 billion. And will Activision Blizzard games come to Microsoft Game Pass now? Yes, I think that's what is Microsoft's plan. And what will a company like Apple, uh, what would they do? Uh, will Apple uh, feel the formal and want to buy electronic apps? Uh, probably that's something that's possible to we'll continue to watch as um, all of this plays out. So, what kind of content would you like to um, uh, see or watch regarding technology, gaming, and the metaverse? Please comment below and we'll read all your comments. And please, uh, if you found value from this video, please like the video and please do subscribe and support AnyTech. This is AnyTech, and until next time when we bring another content your way, thank you very much for stopping by and spending this time with us. Bye.